this video, I want to show you ClearVM, give you a quick tour, and talk about how we go to market and price ClearVM. ClearVM has been around for about seven years. It has a fairly large population out there, and one of the most disruptive things about ClearVM is the way we price the, the pricing model works. Unlike some hypervisors where you have a free version, but when you try to use the full functionality, there are certain triggers that you have to get uh, that you get charged for, and it starts to, to uh, cost you to use. The feature function I'm going to show you today is completely free throughout ClearVM. The only difference in the models are the number of physical servers, virtual servers, the amount of cores, uh, the number of teammates, which are administrators, and the locations where the servers are, and the support level. So if you look at the free version, um, this is designed for small businesses with less than two physical servers, eight virtual servers, and limited numbers of geos and administrators that need to use the system. There's a full-blown version uh, that is unlimited physical servers, sockets, teammates, and locations. Comes with full clear care support for $140 a month. We think that's a very disruptive price point um, for the kind of functionality we're gonna bring to the table. And if you're a medium-sized business that fits in between, you can see 10 physical servers and 40 virtual machines are uh, available for $40 a month. Let me give you a tour of ClearVM. ClearVM is an administrative portal that you sign into that shows you your physical and virtual machines that you have under your control. You can see along the left-hand side, I have two machines that have been turned on, two machines that are currently offline, and a, a slew of virtual machines on these boxes that I have access to. To set up access to a, a new physical machine, what you would do is you'd click on Setup. You'd answer a few questions regarding the network environment, regarding the media you want to use to install Clear, Clear VM. And what it'll do is it'll establish a USB or a CD that has a federated key that you would install on a physical bare metal machine. That will establish control and it will show up in this list of servers that you have access to. Now only the machine or only the environment in ClearVM that has established that access can, can control that box at that point. You have the ability to delegate that administrative right to other admins with ClearVM environments. You can do it by server. So if you have a customer or another admin in your NOC that you want to give access to this device, you can. But if you give access, the nice thing is you have a complete set of logs that will show you everything that's done on that system so that nothing can be done without your visibility. So no one can get to the machine without your access and no one can do anything on the machine without you knowing what they're doing. If you look at the environment that you're looking at and you pull up one of these physical machines, you can see that this is built on KVM and has many of the standard features KVM would allow. I can start and stop that machine, assuming it has ILO and um, Wake on LAN capabilities. I can do that just by plugging the machine into the environment. I can also rename, change the password, change the network settings. And if there are no virtual machines on this physical machine, I could also delete this machine from my environment. I can look at the machine and see all the details associated with when was the last time this machine last reported in. I can see all the, uh, the uh, IP information in order to control and manage this machine. I can also see many of the uh, characteristics such as the hardware serial number of that machine. If storage is uh, added or, or taken away from this, I can manage that storage from this environment. If I plugged in a new hard drive, I could add an NSF or I could uh, add an additional storage NIC. I can create and, and run uh, scripts for this machine and I can see the specific log activity that's associated with this particular server by clicking on activity. I can also scroll down and see the virtual machines that are available. I'm going to open up this virtual machine right here that's running called ClearOS uh, Chris Demo. This, this machine has the same type of capability in terms of control that's available on the physical machines. I can start and stop that machine. I can recycle it, 
reboot it, I can rename it, take a snapshot, migrate it to another physical machine, I can um, back up and download that, uh, that image as well as tunnel into that image so that I can start working on the machine. It gives me the ability to move this machine from one box to another. Um, if I wanted to stop this machine, I just hit stop and it will go through the process of stopping. Uh, it'll ask me if, I if I'm sure I want to do that. Once it's stopped, I could then start it back up on another physical machine if I wanted to. So if I want to install a new image on the system, I click on the store and the store will take me to a standard set of images that are available for me to upload. You can see that I've got Ubuntu, Debian, CentOS, ClearOS, PFSense, Microsoft Windows. I've got many different uh, choices to choose from, Fedora, uh, etc. I can pick any of these images. If I wanted to start them up, I just click on the Start button. And what will happen is, if I want to start this Windows image, it will open up an environment where I can name it. I can then go in and change the password select which box I want to put this on, which physical server that I have access that I want to put it on. Once I've selected that physical access box, it'll ask, I can go in and change the configuration on the memory. I can change the number of cores. I can change the MAC address, the VLAN tags. I can change my keyboard uh, language as well as the disk uh, capabilities. When I click power on, After giving it a password, when I click power on, it will start the process of installing or loading that image on the physical machine that I told it to load it on. Now, that'll take a couple of minutes for it to get it fully loaded. Some of these are ISO images. Some of them are full, Im full golden images that will go directly to uh, a working environment. These are the standard images that are available. You can also take a saved image that you have and add it as a bookmark. So if you've got a golden image that you use as an in your customer's environment, or if you're an end user and you have multiple images that you want to install, install, you can go to the Add Bookmark layer, you can pull up the details of the image, you can upload it to the screen, name it, and then we support ISO, QCOW2, VMDK and VDI as images that you can add to this. And then once you've added it to your private uh, library, then you can install that over and over again whenever need, it, need be. So the store gives you the ability to add new images back to the machines that you have access to. This is a quick tour of ClearVM, gives you the ability to see kind of the general functionality. I think the value of putting ClearVM with ClearOS uh, images on top of it gives you complete flexibility in architecting and building your environment in a way that makes sense uh, given your needs.